So I'm gonna explain the a homework two assignment. Um, I'm gonna share the screen right now. Okay, so that is my answer for the homework two. Uh, uh, so for the first problem, it asked me <clears throat> to find the MMEs for Delta and Theta. So for Delta and Theta, we just basically calculate the, X, uh, the, the first and the second moment. And I use the uh, indefinite integral to calculate the uh, first moment and the, the second moment, which composed of Theta and Delta. And I calculate that the, the first moment is equal to Theta plus Delta and the second moment is equals to uh, this one delta squared plus two delta times theta plus two theta squared and I uh, so we just basically solve the uh, solve the solve the equation system uh, so that we can represent theta and delta by the first uh, moment and the second moment so we just basically get theta is equal to the square root of the second uh, the second moment minus the square of the first moment and delta is equal to the first moment minus theta. So by, uh, uh, by MME, we just uh, simply replace the second moment, uh, second population moment by the second sample moment and uh, replace the first sample moment by, the, uh, we replace the first population moment by first sample moment. And using R, we can get a theta delta is equal to uh, this number and the delta delta is equal to this number. So that basically finished uh, the first the first problem. And the second problem, uh, so for the second problem, I used the uh, first, first order delta method. Uh, so the parameter theta is equal to the x bar and the, the x bar of and the x squared bar. Uh, so, so this one uh, under larger properties by the uh, lecture notes uh, on the class, uh, we can uh, get that that it converges in distribution to the uh, this uh, normal distribution, which uh, mean of this normal distribution is zero, and uh, variance is given by the variance covariance matrix. So, the uh, about the variance covariance matrix, the IJs entry of the variance covariance matrix is just uh, it's just the covariance between x i x to the power of i and x to the power of j. So we replace uh, so that we can calculate uh, the variance covariance matrix uh, by the uh, by the moments by the, uh, the first moment, second moment, third moment and the fourth moment. So um, theta, we can we can rewrite we can write theta uh, from the first problem. We can rewrite we can write theta is equal to this one, and uh, so so we can calculate uh, the gradient of the g one function is given by this one. It's just basically form. Uh, it's just basically follows the uh, partial derivative. Okay, so uh, we can calculate. Uh, we can calculate this uh, matrix. Uh, after the calculation, we get that this one is equal to mu four minus sigma to the power of four divided by four times sigma squared. So uh, from the from the given data, we can find uh, we can find uh, the we can find the this uh, variance. After finding this after finding this variance, we can all well so that. Uh, after after we uh, get down to the uh, normal distribution and find the variance and mean of this normal distribution, we can find the the confidence interval for the unknown parameter theta given the data theta and delta. Okay, so by the R, uh, we can get this number and the ninety three percent confidence interval is this interval. And the, the third problem is just basically uh, from the lecture 10, the uh, R code, uh, the R code for bootstrapping process. And uh, uh, after analyze the after analyze the for loop, uh, actually the the first the first for, the first for loop is correct. So this is the R code and the, the bootstrap for 96% percent 
confidence interval for delta is given by the last line of the R code, which is the exact confidence interval for delta. <laughs>